What's up guys, in this video, you are going to learn how to make a custom email address in SiteGround. Now, if you're using SiteGround as your website hosting provider, you're going to be able to create a custom email address using your domain name. If your domain name were learnhowgroup.com, you'd be able to create whatever email address you want, like andy at learnhowgroup.com, or info, or sales, or orders, or whatever it is that you need for your website. Now, the benefit of doing this is that it looks so much more professional when you're reaching out to collaborate with people, when you're setting up affiliate programs and other things, that you have a custom email address with your domain name, the same name as your website. Because if you have a website, whatever it is.com, but you're using something like Gmail or Yahoo or something to reach out to people, it doesn't look as clean, it doesn't look as professional, it doesn't look like you're for real. But when you reach out to someone with an email address and your email address is the same as your domain name of the website that you own and run, it looks so much better and you're gonna get so many more replies to your emails. So let me show you how to do that here really quickly in the SiteGround C panel. All right, after you've signed into your SiteGround account, you're just gonna go over here to My Accounts, and then you're going to go to Information and Settings under the domain or the account that you wanna create a custom email for. So in this case, I'm just gonna show you with a domain that I run here on SiteGround. Now, once you're in the Info, uh, inf Information and Settings tab, you're going to access right here, you're going to access the C panel. Here on the C panel, we're gonna scroll down to mail and we're going to click email accounts right here. This is where we can create a custom email address. So I could create an email address, let's say I wanted one that's info at gopenf.com. And then I would create a password and then I could choose a mailbox quota. Now understand that depending on what SiteGround uh, account you have, um, you might have different quota limits. So you might have to like back up your email a little bit more frequently or clear it out, delete old emails. Let me, let me just make sure my password is strong enough, okay. And then you're just gonna click create account. Now you'll see right down here, I've got this account, info at gopemp.com. Now you can, you can use that email account wherever you want. So like if you have an iPhone, you can use the mail app or if you have an Android, I don't know what the mail app is for Android, but you could use whatever mail app and just sign in, set it up as an other email address. You can get, uh, if you need the mail server settings, we can find those here. Let's let's go back and see if we can find the, uh, the email server settings. And if we go all the way back to accounts, we'll go under here under information and settings again. Here you go, here's the email details. You can find these right here for your IMAP. So like when you're connecting to an email app, sometimes they'll ask you like for the server, the IMAP server, you can find that right here under information and settings back on the main account screen. You can also, there's an, a link to access webmail if you just wanna go on the internet and access your email. Uh, there'll be a link right here for you to access that. That's how easy it is to set up a custom email address. And like I said, I highly recommend you use a custom email domain with your website when you're doing blogger outreach, uh, like I said, signing up for affiliate programs, whatever it is, you're gonna communicate with different types of people when you're building your blog. Uh, and using that custom domain name, you'll be respected a lot more than reaching out using like your personal Gmail address or something like that. All right guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up for me. It really helps me out, helps my videos do better. And if you leave a comment, just if you learn something new, just say thanks or whatever. I love responding to comments. I read all the comments on my channel. So I'd love to get you know I'd love to get to know you better. And make sure you're subscribed because I've got a lot of videos on my channel to help you learn how to use technology to, to build an online business and create a life of freedom. I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. We'll see you in the next video.